I think we're live, Liz. How do we do this? Let's okay, show the clock. Yes, I'll move my chair. How, how do we do this? It's fine. Or I'll move that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> the only thing is the chairs are so big. And I'm so short. Oh, some people are joining. Hey, Timothy is here. Timothy Best is here. And Dev is here. Hi, P Cell. Hi, Dev Dog. Bruce, we put we RSB and Twitter posted twice in the last couple days that we were not covering the election because that we were traveling today. So subscribe to RSB and on Twitter. Hey, Timothy and Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. Thank you. Thank Peace you, Pacel. The rally's tomorrow at 7, and our coverage is going to start, what do you think, 2.30 or 3? Probably 3. Probably around 3. Yeah, we'll probably start interviewing people in line around 3 o'clock. Angela Ray, you can't go to bed yet, because if we're up, you need to be up. Thanks, Patricia. Yeah, we would have loved, I would have loved to have covered the election. And we were, I was supposed to, but we were, I was literally driving with Liz in the car to Iowa when the, we were listening to it on the radio. We listened to all of it. Hey, GM. Hi, GM. We were listening to the bad mainstream media coverage where they weren't even covering it throughout. They, they would cut to it like every 25 minutes. And then cut back to the Russian investigation. Yeah, well, more Russia <laughs> stuff. Hi, some normal guy. So we're here. We first want to. Uh, we want. We first want to apologize to everyone. That's the camera right there. Yes. Uh, we first want to apologize to everybody for coming on so late. So there was a misunderstanding initially. We hadn't really set a time, but the misunderstanding was we thought we might get in around like ten or so. But the problem was, so we got up at six a.m. this morning and drove to Atlanta and then flew to Chicago and then drove to Iowa, and we got here around nine or ten. But we realized as soon as we got here. We were both starving to death, and we, we, we agree with each other that, like, if we try to do a stream now, we're going to be miserable, and you guys will hate it. And they, would you agree, Liz? Yeah, I agree. So we had to go out and eat. And then also at the rallies, you have to have snacks at the rallies because you can't leave. Like, so we're, once we go inside the rally, so we're going to be covering the rally outside the rally from, like, 3 to 4. Five or whatever, and then from five to seven, we go inside and cover that. And then the rally goes from like seven to nine or whatever, and we're doing the post coverage. So, and you can't go out and get food during that time at all. So, we had to buy some. If you don't have snacks during the rally to eat and have them when you go into the rally for setup in the morning, you will starve to death later in the day. You won't starve to death, but you will be a miserable, miserable person. Yeah. So, those are the two things we needed to do. Uh, so, that we and we just got back, we have our shopping bags empty. Hive, we found a Hive. It's a good. It's actually a really nice supermarket in Cedar Rapids, of all places. Open 24 hours, so we got back, and now we're here with you. We're all ready to go for tomorrow. We're excited. We're very ready. So we want to just say hello, uh, and as you probably know, we. I'm sure a bunch of you were watching the election, and that and handle one Handel or handle. I say handle. I assume. That's right. I'm sure we'll get corrected if we're wrong. Yes. I'm from Georgia, so it's a pretty big win for us. Liz's, Liz and mom and her were celebrating on the phone. Yeah, we were. My mom was very invested in this, and she was watching Fox News, and we were watching CNN, listening to CNN, um, and she would be like, oh, they're in the lead, and then ours would be like, she's, you know, not so far in the lead, but it just kept updating back and forth. I want to cool. raise this a little bit, Liz. Hold on. I do that. It's not going to be any better. Let's see. Hold on. It's a little better, right? A little. Now we're not so at the bottom. It's a better we, angle. The other one was like. If I do like this, oh, that's better. Up. That's better. Now they can't see the clock, but whatever. Uh, anyways. Thank you, JC. Thanks, JC. Hi, hey, Yippity. So, hey, Jason. Jason, you, it's your late. You love the late night shows. They're your favorite. Well, let's, let's see. <laughs> uh, so. So just so people know, the rally is tomorrow, President Trump's rally in Iowa. We're here to cover it. Uh, we found an amazing, uh, um, it's an amazing, it's really good uh, Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And we've convinced the guy like who owns it 
he, this is, we're like the second people who ever, who ever rented it from him, and he severely underpriced it. Would you agree? Yeah, it could definitely be more. But we decided that we think it's low to get people in to start the reviews to make it more popular. But I mean, or maybe, you know, we also know it's so much like farmland out here and just so much property that it makes, I'm assuming, prices go down. So maybe, maybe just prices are not as expensive. Like your water bottle. You want to tell yeah. me about your water so, bottle? Yeah. So we were in Iowa today and I stopped in a Walmart to get. To, to, I, was, I was trying to get carrots and they had no carrots but they did have like a 20 ounce bottle of water and it was 59 cents compared to the one at the airport which was oh. like 3.59 so thank Carl, you, Carl Peterson, Peterson just made a donation thank you Carl very much it's very kind of you we'll put it toward the you rally get an A on that test. that'd be worth like four, almost four waters at that Walmart in Iowa which was really inexpensive um, so yeah this rally is tomorrow President Trump the rally is uh, starting at 7 but we're gonna, uh, 7 central time but we're gonna come on. We're gonna come on a lot earlier. Yeah, it, it was like Liz. Tell me what did you think about that Walmart? It was the smallest you'd ever seen. Yeah, it was like equivalent to the size of like a Dollar General, or a Dollar General and a half. But it was tiny, and there was no groceries. Yeah, no, said. no, no groceries at that Walmart. It was the smallest Walmart we'd ever seen. I was calling it Small Mart. <laughs> that was creative. Uh, so uh, yeah, so yes, Alice, we're going to be interviewing people tomorrow all day. So starting around two thirty or three. Uh, We'll be talking to people in line and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're very tired. We're extremely tired, but we wanted to do this. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. The, the official rally starts at 7, so that'll be when people start to go on and give their formal speeches, um, working up to the president speaking. Oh, Patricia oh. gave it for breakfast. Thank you, Patricia. That's very nice of you. Patricia W., you're not my sister, are you? Because I have a Patricia... Is that what you, is that your sister? I wouldn't be surprised if my family was. So out would your there sister give to, like, you twenty dollars? Breakfast, but that'd be really nice of her. Would you give her twenty dollars? I you don't for think breakfast? It's her, she her 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 new name is Patricia Willis Tyler, so I think. Chip Rockefeller saying oh, he's your sister. Oh, it's not my sister. Okay, well, thank you, anyways. I thought that was too nice to be my sister. <laughs> uh, so that's really kind of you. Yeah, so we're looking forward to it. He hasn't had a rally in a while. Oh, if you didn't see President Trump's tweet tonight, it was amazing. I want to read it because it was so crazy. There were a couple leading was, up to that one. It, it was, was like, looks like it's going well for Georgia, something like that. This was like, oh, I didn't see the ones before because I wasn't looking. But uh, but the one he, he did. Thank uh, you, Sandy Huggy. Oh, thank you, Sandy Huggy, one for your donation. That's very kind of you. Thank you. We'll have to use that for something besides breakfast on this trip because Patricia just brought it, bought breakfast. But, Lunch. But, uh, yeah. No, we had to pay for rent, the rental car and the plane. and We're paying. We're actually, and unfortunately, Mike is not with us tonight. Oh, we're on Facebook, too. Hello, everybody on Facebook. Uh, Mike is not with us tonight because Micah is doing, like, this military service thing he has to do for four months. So we have a local person who seems very nice who we've hired to do the camera tomorrow. We hope he's not, like, secretly working for the DNC and going to sabotage the rally. But if you see the rally, all of a sudden stop broadcasting tomorrow, that's because of him. But uh, no, I think it's going to be fine. He seems to be a really, really nice guy. Uh, what was that? I was going to tell them about oh, Trump's Twitter, Trump's tweet. Um, Hold on. If y'all have any questions while Steve looks that up, I'll read them and be happy to answer them. I got it. Uh, Donald Trump said, I wonder if I can show them. Is it, gonna, is it reverse? Does it show things in reverse? Try. <gasps> Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. It's very kind of you. Alice just donated a donation. That's really nice of you guys. That's big. That's just, that's just money. We literally will use it for this trip because yeah. it costs us money to cover this trip. So if I show them this, is it going to come up backwards? No, they can't even see it. Why? It's, it's the lighting. It's, I'm trying to show you President Trump's tweet on my phone, but it's not working too well. Anyways, I don't know if I do that. No. Well, I'll read it to you. It says, well, the special elections are over and those that want to make... Those that want to make America great again are five and oh, all the fake news, all the money spent equals zero. So it was like a tweet designed to get everybody on the left really angry, and it was amazing. So, uh, so uh, what else did he, you said he was tweeting during the during the election? Yeah. Hold on, let's see. I saw some that was like, looks like it's going well or something like that. Yeah, it might have been job. from POTUS. Things oh, wait, are looking no. great for Karen H. Yeah. So nothing was like nothing was like that. I think it was like that. Yeah, anyway, so if you have, like, questions about the rally stuff, uh, feel free to ask us. 
We like to drive around the night before we're out and see what the town is oh, like. Oh, tell them about our drive tonight. Where what we ended up seeing? Like all. Like the venue. Oh yeah, so there's a big venue, and there. What we've noticed in this town is that there's a lot of factories. So I can see why President Trump chose to have it here. I'm sure there's going to be a good amount of support. We ended up driving by U.S. Cellular Center, which is where the which is where the rally is tomorrow, which seemed like a nice place. Also. We ended up, there weren't many places open this time of night, but there was like a downtown area where there's a bunch of places open. And strangely, we went in and it seemed like the crowd was very hip uh, and young and good looking. So I certainly didn't fit in. But, uh, but there were, there was like, and there was all these bars at all these hip, young and good looking uh, uh, Cedar Rapids people were going to during the, on a Tuesday night at like midnight. So. That was interesting. But we had some good food. What was the name of that place we went to? Bar two, uh, Pub 217. Yes. The first place we went to, they weren't serving food anymore. They were only serving appetizers. So... <laughs> they, sent, they sent us to Bar 217. The capacity the tom- for tomorrow's venue is 7,654. Yeah, so this venue is a little smaller than the ones he he, uh, he sometimes has them at. It's a smaller city, I feel like, too. I mean, this is not too big. Yeah. Sharon, I'm not... You would know I'm tired. If you want to see what I look like when I'm tired, go look at this live stream we did from Harrisburg when I was falling asleep the entire time. I'm impressed. This is, Liz is more, Liz keeps earlier hours than me, so it's it's shocking that she's awake right now. It's, it's amazing that she's doing this. I'm never awake at, it's what I am. I was going to say midnight, but no. Uh, Eight Sam, hours for this girl. Sam asked if Iowa was a red state, and Iowa is like a battleground state. Let's but see. Let me. I'm over here googling if it looks like I'm. Iowa missed. voted for Trump last election, but I I believe they've gone for both. Yeah, hopefully Jason people. Oh will wow! Be able to be closer. That's a super red state. Yeah, but how much was the actual vote total? Percentage. Click on the yeah, click on the no click, click on the actual Wikipedia article will tell you, because those are the different counties. Because probably I'm gonna show on the state first. Well, pro- what happened is probably that there's Should a. Let me turn my brightness down. Maybe that would help. So most of it's red, but at the same time, I bet some of the blue is like the more populous areas. So. I wonder where Cedar Rapids is. Anyways. I don't even know which county we're in. Well, I believe it. Lots of factories everywhere we go. Oh, thank you, Tony Max. If he's looking forward to it, thank, thank you, Tony, Tony. Max, for the donation. By the way, uh, if people on Facebook don't know why we're clapping for people, it's because they've made a donation. Because we're, uh, you probably know this, but we're viewer supported. We don't have a lot of money at all, and uh, we cost us money to go cover the rallies. So people are donating to help us cover the cost of the rally. But if you're on Facebook, uh, the way to donate is you can either go to YouTube and click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat, which is right next to this broadcast, or you can go to rsbn.tv slash donate if you want to donate. But thank you, everybody, who donated. We really appreciate yes, it. It's very nice do. of you. We work hard to keep the cost down, like staying in an Airbnb. It's amazing how much that saves a night, even for, from a cheap hotel. You know, you can pay like 80 bucks a night in a hotel, but then you have to get two rooms because it's me and Steve. But when you have a house, you know, for 80 bucks a night, that ends up being a lot cheaper. So we've done Airbnbs and we work hard to find safe, good ones in the area. This, guy, okay, okay. this, this, this place is perfect except the fridge doesn't get things too cold. Steve's a very picky man. I am when it comes to fridges. He has the fridge on, on highest cooling setting, but, uh, but it's not getting things too cold. And then I looked and it said it was manufactured in 2010, which is... I don't know, seven years? It feels like maybe it's about that time when fridges start to go. I don't know. I feel like I, I, I kind of want to tell him because I think he wants to have a really good place. And I don't disagree with Steve. However, I'll also say that I don't think we've stayed in one place that he didn't have a problem with something. It's usually the fridge. It was the fridge, the door. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson. The air conditioning, the curtains. Yeah, so, uh, uh, sorry, I would have liked to have covered the... Uh, I would have liked to cover the election tonight, and again, it really, when I tried, we tried, we tried to listen to the mainstream media stations in the car, and like, no one was doing constant coverage of the election, it was really annoying. He did, he kept saying how bad he wanted to do it, was like, he was like, itching to do it, he's like, I yeah. wish I was reporting this, like, no one's doing it, so. JC says they have to keep the compressor airflow clear. 
We'll yeah. Go check that. Jacqueline, I think the rally's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. It always is. Thank it, you, GM. It's cool to watch it build all day. At first, it's always like not a lot of people, and then, I mean, that makes sense. But by, by the end of the day, you see this entire arena just fill up, and it never fails to be a really big, popular event. Hi, kicking. Maybe the line won't be as long tomorrow because it's not as, not as big of a venue. 7,000, yeah. No, it's big, but I'm saying like... Compared. Some of the other venues. Like Nashville is a bigger. huge one. Was Nashville the one that people didn't get into? Yes, because that was kind the of a, that was a... That was one of those... It's a, it was a giant CF, that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was for people. But they figured it out. They seem to have figured it out better. Uh... Let's see. We're looking at your comments, by the way. Yeah. We're not just, like, staring at ourselves. John, we're streaming live starting at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Yep. We'll be on, on all day. Yes, Stephanie and Derek? <laughs> Roger. Oh, Roger bought us $10 for waffles. Thank uh, you, Roger. Waffles for Stephen Liz in the morning. High energy for Ellie. I love waffles. So, so, Roger, the problem is, is that on my diet, I can't eat waffles. I, this is how hungry I was tonight. I never eat french fries anymore. I basically, I like them, but I can't eat them anymore because of my diet. But tonight, Liz will vouch for it. I actually had french fries because I, I, there wasn't that much. There was, I needed to eat something. So I was he, that hungry. He's like a deer that grazes all day. I have to. Not like a bear that like hibernates and eats a lot at one time. He slowly, like, he has an apple, carrots. He needs to be fed. Otherwise... He's bad. Thank you. I'm Anthony. on a diet because I gained all this weight a couple years ago for no reason because my metabolism slowed down. So if I don't have my diet, I go. Boop. Why is he? Why, Carl? Why are you saying orange juice, Steve? The pick. Did he post a pick with orange juice? Yeah, I don't. I don't know, Carl. I don't get your reference. Uh. No, I'm gonna, Andrew, I'm gonna get the Waffle House. I'm just not gonna order waffles. I don't think there's gonna be protesters. Yeah, I don't, there haven't, usually there aren't many protesters. Mm -hmm. There'll probably be some. There'll probably be, as usual, there's usually like 10, and then there's lots of press talking to the protesters. Especially where we are right now. Really. Hey, Floyd, dude. Oh, you, maybe you know that I played the Pink Floyd cover band once. Uh, no, I haven't played drums in years. I miss it. You play drums? I used to years ago. So did Marcelo. Oh, could, yeah? Y'all could start a little boy oh, band. JC says, combat, give us $5, says combat bets for POTUS, Trump, and RSBN Rocks, hoo-ha, airborne, RSBN Moscow. Thank you, JC. It's very nice of thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Bonjour. Ça va. I've had chicken and waffles before. Oh, Light Switch gave $10 oh, for diet food. Ah, oh, yes. Diet food is Finally. Expensive. Someone gives me... Uh, a donation to give get me some of my food. I was so pissed tonight though because uh, at uh, at at the market we went to, it was like this big supermarket. They didn't have unsalted cashews. They had ten different kinds of salted cashews and no unsalted ones. So it's gonna wreck me up. It's gonna destroy me tomorrow morning. I don't have my unsalted cashews. Floyd dude says I was a guitar player in that cover band. I don't believe you. You'll have to tell me your first name if, if you... Well, yeah, but you might just be, get the first name of the guy off the web. Tell me your first name, Floyd, dude, if, you're really, that's, if that's really you. Salut. I love sushi. I yeah, Liz, is, Liz is a sushi fan. Nobody will get it with me. It's my least favorite thing about RSBN is that my coworkers don't like sushi. I like it. I feel it doesn't fill you up that much, though. Unless you get a ton, unless you get like $1,000 worth. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's late. But we, yeah. we want to do the stream now. I'll have to go in a little bit, but we wanted to. Liz is gonna fall asleep in a second. I just need to. Yeah. So don't forget. The official rally time starts at 7 p.m. That's where people go on. It's generally like about 45 minutes or so before, when people start speaking that Trump takes the stage. Wouldn't you agree? About 45 minutes? Yeah. About 45 minutes of other speakers. And then about, so around from like 3 to, between 3 and 7, we'll be interviewing people live. Outside and inside. Yeah, outside and inside. And then um, 
It'll just be a live stream all day. Good night to Yippity. Good night, good night. Uber CEO. I thought the Uber CEO like just was taking time off or something. But the last couple of days have been busy, so I might not be up to date on my Uber stuff. I think President Trump's going to be in a really good mood tomorrow. What about you? I think Trump will be in a good mood because of uh, the election, right? Me too. Tonight. Yeah, yep. that's what I was thinking. Yep. It'll be nice because it's always high energy, but this is going to be like... He's going to talk about the election a lot. Yeah, he absolutely will. I wonder if we'll talk about North Korea. He had that whole North Korea, Korea tweet th thing today where he said... I think he will. Sorry it didn't work out, China. He needs to explain that tweet. I don't get it. The rally is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central, and we will be covering it starting at 3 p.m. Central. Yep. It's at Cedar Rapids, Patricia. Cedar Rapids, Iowa, at the U.S. Cellular Arena. U.S. Cellular Center. You're welcome, deplorable Sunny. Wow, a lot of you guys are up really late. I'm impressed. We didn't know if anyone would be up this late. Yeah, I'm surprised. We're good. If if I was sleeping, I would I would be, uh, I would really I would literally be sleeping in on the broadcast, which I did almost in the on Harrisburg. Thank you to everyone who stayed up to wish us, you know, well yeah. from our travel and to talk to us about tomorrow. We appreciate it, no matter how sleepy we may look right now. Mainstream media isn't doing a live stream right now. Yeah, I read about that. Where's that comment, Andrew, about another um, ISIS leader being killed? That I think I saw that today, but it's getting confused with the one that happened a couple weeks ago. I thought I did see something that just brought back. I don't even. Know Thanks, Jude, for waiting up. Yes, we got your tweet, so we are safe. What does that mean? I think well, Ra Raised, raised Right is in, Ma in Massachusetts makeup. too. We're in Massachusetts, Raised Right. Yeah, here it's 110, right? It's 110. So it's like 2 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. That's wild. I've, I've not seen any ladybugs. Oh, Uber found a reported oh, Boston. designs. I'm from Newton. Oh, did that just happen tonight? Fox News tweeted it 18 minutes ago. Oh, let me see. I'm looking up the story. Someone that one of you told us about uh, about the Uber, uh, about Travis Kalanick. Yeah. Kalanick? Clint Kalanick, whatever. I don't know. It says, Uber CEO resigns. I'm going to, it's from, it's from TechCrunch. He's resigning from the company. He announced last week he was taking a leave of absence. Whoa! What? Don't think you understand what this company has done with just a few employees. As an insider, I can tell you that many inside um, the campaign... We, something... Oh, here it is. Um, Greg Need just gave us a nice, uh, amazing donation wow. of $100. Liz, read what he said. Don't think you all understand what this company has done with just a few employees. As an insider, I can tell you that many inside the campaign credit RSBN with pushing them over the top... They slew the MSM. Just this little group of people from Alabama. Salute, Joe and crew. That's very kind Thank of you, you Greg. Thank you so Lee. much. That's really cool it's of you. It's stuff like that that keeps us like moving along because it's easy to forget what you know what you're doing and how important it is, and then it's nice to be reminded. We're just trying to give you, give people uh, coverage they won't get other places of the rally. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. That's really kind of you. I think I'm going to retweet this uh, story about Travis Kalanick, by the way, that somebody just told us about. I retweeted it. Wow, that's kind of breaking newsy. Are you going to go live? Thanks again, Greg. Neat. Yeah, I'm not going to go live for Travis Kalanick. I feel like you get, like, adrenaline from... when events happen. Well, I... I, I cause it's like, it's, I, I get interested in breaking news. So, it's not the going live. I'd be that excited anyway, even if I was just at home doing it myself. These comments are going by pretty fast. Yeah, yeah I apologize if we miss your comment. So they, can, they can go by fast. That's not true. No way. No. Fake news. I think somebody is supposed to post fake news Bearcat. on... 
Do you think Trump will order assassination of Kim Jong Un based on his tweet today and report of Kim's is hiding as revenge of Bobby's death? Thank you for the donation, and I have absolutely no idea if what's going to happen. I feel like President Trump's not the type of person to let that like slide, to let the auto situation like, you know, he doesn't really deal well when people are mistreating children. So I wouldn't be surprised if he. I heard a theory, yeah, that that will like make him take action on North Korea the same way the. Uh, the chemical weapons bombing of the kids made him mm -hmm. take action on Syria. I don't know, though, you know. I mean, he, they want to do it anyway, so it just kind of gives them, like, a, a reason. For all you know, the government's been trying to do it for 20 years, and they can't do it. That's probably pretty hard. But I don't even... You have to do it in a way that's deniable, too. I'm so scared of North Korea. I don't even want to, like, talk about them. I feel like they're going to show up at my doorstep and sentence me to 15 years of hard work. Bye, Andrew S. Have a good night. Oh, future boy Andy Wilkins is here from New Zealand. So it's Hi, probably like the Zealand. middle of the day there. North Korea sucks. There was, a, uh, there was like another, I guess there's been a bunch of Clint Eastwood death hoaxes. That's weird. See, now if I lift this up, you can see what time it is here. See? There it is up there. Although, is that backwards? See, we see it backwards, but they don't see it backwards. Guys, are you seeing the clock backwards or forwards? Because when we look at our screen, we see the clock like 11 is where 1 should be, but maybe you guys are seeing it the right way. It might just be the way they show it to us. Hello. No, it's forwards, okay. It's not backward, okay, it's just the way it shows it to us. I feel like I lifted it up more. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I think this is the latest Liz has ever been up in her I'm life. I'm going to have to go in like, when it gets to 30 minutes. So three more minutes, and yep. I'm going to have to... We're going to lose Liz in three minutes. Then five people will stay and talk Other... to me. No. <laughs> they live... Otherwise, I'll be dead tomorrow. I have to pick my battle. We're so lucky that setup is late tomorrow and not super early. It's not like late. It's just not early. We're not best no, friends. No, we haven't known each other that long. But um, we're, we get along well. We're lucky in that sense. Oh, by the way, um, uh, we never met. We, we, were, we forgot to mention we were telling people about how to donate. We forgot to mention Patreon. So we should mention Patreon, which is... And a bunch of you probably know this, but if you can't, maybe you're watching on Facebook and you've never seen this before. Uh, there is a way to donate and get free stuff like mugs and signed footballs and all other kinds of things. That's our Patreon site, Right Side Broadcasting, www.patreon.com slash rsbn. We hate asking for donations, but we do so because it keeps our channel on the air. So uh, check out our Patreon site if you're interested in that. Oh, Roger left? Bye, Roger. Good night. Do we still do PayPal? Yeah, rsbn.tv slash donate is where you can donate as well. rsbn.tv dash donate. Slash I think donate. that one takes the least amount of money out. Yes. So if you just want to, like, most of your money go towards it without getting, like, high tax, that's a good one. We get 70% of YouTube donation, 90-something of, of PayPal, and I think 90% of... Uh, of 90 plus percent of Patreon, I think. I love... Uh, thank, thank you, Jason. Jason. Have a good night. I love the YouTube donations, though, because we can actually see it, and it lights up like a neon box. Kinda. Right, that's what's fun about the YouTube. So it, you actually get to see it. 50 seconds before I go to bed. If anyone has any questions for me... Yeah, if you have a question down. for Liz, you better ask it soon because she's going to bed very soon. Otherwise, I'll be back with y'all all, all she's day She's going tomorrow. downstairs, and then I get the whole upstairs to myself, and I can invite my friends over. I'm having a party in the basement. See, U.S. Cellular, it has a capacity of 8,900 uh, for some events and like six and 6,000 something to other events. I'm it sorry. Depends on what kind of, it depends on what kind of event they're having. That's Google's fault. Hi, Monica Crow from Oklahoma. My favorite part about working with your co-workers, they always get the door for me. That's true. She doesn't Both want it, do. but sometimes you don't want us to do it and then you get it for us. I like being independent, but it's nice. They kind of just, 
roll with me. Joe just said, Jim McCloud to watch his Can you explain that to me? Why yeah, there's a, vi- cause there's a video Joe showed that he has from before, but he showed it like today of Jim McCloud talking about seeing him, about RSPN. Oh, oh right. Floyd dude gave $20. Hey, Steve, great to find you. Oh, it's Gary? Is it really Gary from that? That's crazy. Gary, if that's you, hello. I don't know. I want to say it must be you because who else would know this? But that's amazing. Hi, Gary. How are you? If that's that Gary. Like bandmate? Yeah. When I, uh, no kidding. There's a Pink Floyd cover band, which is now like really big in Southern California. But Gary and I were there when they started. So if that's really Gary, that's amazing. Gary, shoot me an email uh, at steve.bookner at rspn.tv. I'd love to catch up. Gary was a really good guitarist. I'm sure he still is a really good guitarist. That's good really night, cool. Monica. Good night, Monica. Ciao. Say hi to everybody in Oklahoma for us. What YouTube channels? I don't really watch channels. I kind of just watch like certain videos here and there. There's just so much on. There's too much media now to watch. I can't consume it all. Do you watch anything in particular? I don't want to answer that. You're not going to answer it? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to admit it. You watch Sel- uh, Selena Gomez's channel. I love Selena Gomez. I don't watch her channel. But I did watch her new video the other day. I like watching makeup tutorials on YouTube. Oh, it's yeah. like my guilty pleasure. Not, it's not political or anything. It's just... Fun. Is Steve as adorkably awkward in person as he can be in front of? Yep. I think it's more just awkward. Yeah, I don't know about the adorkable, but no. he. Just, Steve is really something yeah, else. You're awkward. But we get along well. That's nice. The only thing I would change is that I wish they liked sushi. I like sushi. Yeah, I like sushi. That's a whole other thing. It was Micah who hated us, and maybe now that Micah's too. Like, Micah's busy right all now, so. Look, I love Micah, but all I know is that with Micah not here, Liz and I have not gotten in one fight over where to eat. That's true. But that just might be because two people, it's easier to decide than with three people. All right, y'all. All right, I love Liz you is guys. saying goodbye. I'm going to stick around for a little while longer. Liz has got to get her sleep. Bye, Thank Liz. Thank you. I'll see y'all in the morning. Liz, um, you got to tell me when you're getting up. Hold on. So we have to, we have to leave here by 11, right? I'll probably wake up around 9. Yeah, I'll probably get up around then, too. I'll probably hear you walking then. We'll have breakfast Maybe a together. Later. Good Maybe night, Monica. Good night, Roger. So Liz Thank is you, leaving. JC. Say goodbye Bye, to John. Liz before she goes. Bye, Twitter. Bye, just tap. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see y'all tomorrow. It's gonna be a huge day. Lots of fun. And um, yeah. Bye, Cat King. Bye, JC. Bye, Joe. Thank you for having us here. As always, we love it, and it's always cool to see a different part of the country that. You know, I would have never come to. So it's a really cool opportunity. Thank you guys for making it happen. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have fun with your streams, Steve. Yep. I'm going to try. I Liz is gathering up her stuff as we speak. I show you some of the place, but I don't think I'm allowed to. So I'm not going to. Okay. I think the, I think like, the guy would get mad at me. I'm scared someone's going to like come and get me in my sleep. But I trust Jerry, so. Can I show them? Can, I, can we show you taking your back? You're not going this way? Which way are you going? My room. Aren't yeah, I but how do you there? get there? Yeah, you can't get, you gotta come behind here, don't you? Aren't the steps right here? Oh, is that where it is? Oh, you may be right. I thought it was over here. Go to bed, Steve. Can we show you real quick? Liz is walking. Bye. Bye. Steve, I think you need to get some sleep. All right, Liz is gone now. We can have an awesome time. Woo! I hate you. Yeah, she's out of here. Yeah. Finally, the now. Boring, the boring Finally, we can have a fun stream. Finally. I hate you. No, I'm kidding. I will stay on for five more minutes, but I gotta go to bed soon too. I'll watch from, I'll watch from my bedroom. Yeah, Liz, Liz is gonna watch downstairs, and she's gonna do a competing stream. All right, guys, let's talk about Liz. What do you think? No, I'm kidding, Liz. We're not gonna talk about you. All right, I got a few more minutes here. Sorry, we came on late today. Night, crazy cracker. Yeah, she's great. You'll see her more tomorrow. She'll be doing a bunch of interviews. Yeah, she's a nice young lady. Angela, you'll have to tell her that yourself. Thank you, Robert. Oops, I'm fixing this here. Not working too well.
Hello, Super Toys Adventure. The clock is not in the shot. Now that looks that looks much more domestic. Yeah, it's very late night tonight. It's not just late night, it's very late night. But we said we would do it, so we are doing it. The Wall is my favorite Floyd album, Smith Wesson. Jason, I have no control over Jim Acosta. Thank you, Joe. It's right now it's about 1.25 a.m. here. See, as predicted, I knew when Liz left, everybody's gonna leave everybody's gonna leave the room. Michelle, the rallies at 7, our, our coverage will start around 3, and that's all central time. Yeah, Robert, technology is awesome. Like, we were marveling at technology when we were using our Google Maps to get around Cedar Rapids and find everything tonight. And our, our, we used our Google Maps to navigate in the car. And it was just, like, amazing. Oh, people on Facebook, feel, feel free, by the way, to share our video. We love when you share the videos. Sorry, I'm just texting Joe back, folks. Sorry, I'm just texting Joe back one more time. Thank you, JC. Yes, Trump rally tomorrow. I would like to Jason to, to live stream through Walmart. Sorry, I have to text Joe one more time. Sorry, I'm just I I apologize folks. I got a business text from Joe and I have to read it. Sorry, I'm, uh, I was just texting Joe back. I'm going to have a couple of minutes here uh, and then I actually have to talk to Joe because we have to talk about right side stuff and the rally and stuff like that. So. We'll do a couple more minutes here. Yeah, London fire coverage went all night. Steve dot Lookner at RSBN dot TV is my email, Gary. Steve dot Lookner at RSBN dot TV.
So if you have any last questions, I can only stay a couple more minutes. Rush is my favorite band. That's my favorite, my favorite band is Rush. Good night, Robert. Thank you, Angela. Exactly. I don't really have a favorite sports team. It doesn't have to be questions about me personally, but it can be questions about the rally and stuff. Thanks, Joshua. My glasses I got at the UCLA Optical Center when I was a UCLA graduate student. Good night, Sarah. Thank you. If you're going to be at the rally, uh, please say hi to us tomorrow, by the way. You'll, you'll, you'll see us. Come, come and say hi. Everybody's telling me, everybody's telling me to go to stop the stream and go to sleep. I'm going to do it very soon. All right, let's say two more minutes and that's it. Margaret is doing some personal stuff right now and is not broadcasting, but we've been talking to her and we hope she comes back very soon. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, Sandy wants me to go to sleep too. All right. I think at this point, I need to go to bed. It's 1.30 here. It's that time. Again, we apologize we came on so late tonight. We just, we got in really late. Uh, we came on as soon as we could. Thank you, Tony Mac. As soon as we could and as soon as we weren't, uh, as soon as we had eaten something and gotten here. So, uh, but we're going to cover the rally, President Trump's rally tomorrow. The rally starts at 7 central time. Our coverage will start around like 3 central time. It's going to be fun. Hopefully I sleep enough that I'm not going to be exhausted. No, if I go to bed now, I'll be good. So, uh, but thank you for staying up with us. It's so fun that you guys all stayed up and joined us for this late night chat session. Uh, good hanging with you. Thank you, Choo Choo and Jacqueline and John. Lily, thank you. Thanks, PCL. Thanks, JC. Thanks, Smith Wesson. Thanks, Mike Brennan. Thanks, Jessica Honey. Thank you, Jason Thornton. Thank you. Alan, I am fine. Thank you, Just Half. Thanks, JC. Thank you, Ian. Good night, Cat King. Good night, Angela Ray. Good night, Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> Good night, Son of Earth and Sky. Good night, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, Nick is a smart guy. Thank you, Just M3. Thanks, Just Hap. Oh, it's Bob's your uncle. Hey, Bob's your uncle. Thanks. Uh, Sweet good night, Jacqueline. Thank you, Mike P. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. I think I said goodbye to everybody. Bye, Super Choice Adventure. Thanks, everybody, for the donations. We really appreciate them. All right. Well, it's been good. I'll see you tomorrow. It's not going to be long until I see you again. Liz and I will see you tomorrow. We're looking forward to covering the rally for you and meeting uh, some people from Iowa and maybe neighboring states. Okay, good night, Don. Thanks, Gary. It might take me a couple days to get to your email, Gary, because we're so busy here covering this rally, but I will get to it. It's really good to hear from you. Uh, but good. thank you, all of you, for watching. Thank you. Later today, that's right. i got to go to bed. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow. Today. See you later today. 
Liz and I are really looking forward to it. And we will talk to you soon. Have a great night and rest of today. See you later.